Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We're so glad you joined us this morning. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Villaverde. Okay, so here's a question. What would we do without our cars? Well, I'd be in my horse and buggy. <laughs> um, I wouldn't do, no, what would I do? I don't know what I'd do without I my car. I live in the big city, so do you. We need them. You know, they help us get from place to place. They're a necessity. And today, Julie, we're going to talk about the latest in high-tech innovations for our automobile, including, get this, a device that monitors, tracks, and even locates our car in real time. I love this. Which is this. really a great way to maintain it. You know where I'm going. You know why I love this? Because my Peace teenage daughter and elderly parents, they don't have to know, but we can track them. And, my and it's okay. girls, too. <laughs> I love this. Yes, it's a great idea, actually, for young drivers. And speaking of elderly parents or family members, please stay with us today as we have an important discussion coming up about what hospice is and what a family can expect when the decision to use hospice has been agreed upon. It's all about quality. Quality at the end. And let me tell you, we had it for my grandmother, and it, it was a beautiful. Mm -hmm. The Balancing Act starts right now. When it comes to cutting edge technology, it seems every time we turn around, there's another life improving innovation. Well, with us today to discuss the peace of mind and added safety provided by cloud-based connectivity for our cars and trucks and vans and SUVs is Amy Masano, Vice President of Marketing and Communications for Delphi Automotive. Welcome, it's so great to have Thank you Thank you so in the much for having today. me, it's great to be here. You know, a lot of women, especially, you know, working moms spend a lot of time in the car and non-working moms, we all spend a we lot of time do. in the car. How are cloud-based technologies making car time safer and more efficient? Right, so technology connects you to information and to the people in your lives that you care about. We call this the digital lifestyle at Delphi. And people are used to it at work, mm -hmm. and then it expanded into your homes, and now it's expanding into your car. And when you think about it, your car is the biggest and most expensive computer that you'll ever own. So it wow. makes sense. I never thought about it that right? way. Yeah. And that's where Delphi comes in. So we bridge the high-tech world with the automotive world so that we provide the foundation to get you that information in the car that you can use, but safely and seamlessly, and make it personal. You know, I see you have a smartphone right I do. there. Um, explain how the phones are used in tandem with your cloud-based services. Right, so Delphi Connect is a product that we brought to market with our partners Verizon and US Cellular, and it can do several different things to help you manage your family and their safety. So it can track your vehicle, it can monitor your vehicle, and it can find your vehicle. So wow. for example, I know you have daughters, yep. I have three boys, and the oldest is creeping up quickly on driving like your Mine daughter too. is. Yeah. And when they're getting that experience, you want them to do it in a safe area. So you want to know where they are. So from anywhere in the world, anytime, you can tell exactly where your car is. So you know that your family is safe. Wow. You can monitor the health of your vehicle. So if the engine light comes on, it'll tell you through the diagnostics what is wrong and what needs to be fixed. But it also preventatively, if you have an elder parent and maybe they're still driving, you're not near them, you know that their car is in proper working order. So there's nothing to worry about. And then you can find your car. So let's say you come this out of a, a concert <laughs> yeah. and you forget in this giant parking structure, where did I leave my car? Within a few feet, this can take you. The other really cool thing it does is it will emulate or mirror your key fob, you know that thing on your yes. keychain? Yes. I'm embarrassed to tell you, but when my oldest was at daycare, I frantically, in my hurry of dropping him off and trying to get to work, I locked him in the car as a baby <laughs> with the keys in the car. Yeah. So if I would have had this, I would have been able to quickly unlock the car, or my husband from wherever he was could unlock the car, and so it's just an added layer. And you can start your car. So Michigan, Detroit, where I live, just had the coldest, snowiest you winter want to start that car. ever, <laughs> newborn baby. I wanted that car warmed up. And it's not limited by a short range, it's from anywhere, anywhere wow. in the world. Now there's another feature called geofences. Tell yes. me about that. Yes, yeah. so the geofence is basically an electronic border that mm. you set up. So we were talking about our kids learning how to drive. You want them to get that experience in a safe zone so right. you can tell your daughter, or I could tell my son, okay, hey, stick to school and sports practice and maybe your after school job. I don't really feel comfortable yet until you get a little bit more experience venturing outside of that bound. 
So you can set up alerts. So if the vehicle leaves that boundary, it mm -hmm. will send you an alert. And if you choose to, you can also get alerts for excessive speed or reckless driving. Well, so you, you know, it's, you know, it's great to be able to monitor, yeah. especially as they're learning and growing. Now, tell me about all of this. We send this information. Yes. Is it safe? Is it secure? It is safe. So Delphi uses state-of-the-art encryption software okay. to deliver and carry your device. And then it's deposited in a secure server in the cloud. So when I think about it, it's sort of like putting your information on a secured armored vehicle or Brinks truck as it travels through cyberspace. Like that image, yeah. And then it's deposited in Fort Knox. So there is, it is safe from end to end. And is the device best suited for older cars or newer cars? Well, we all can't afford to buy a brand new car. No. So the beauty of this is that it, this little guy right here, is, this is it. It plugs every car built in 1996 or after. There's an opening or a port underneath your dashboard. So okay. you just plug this in to that port and you follow a few simple steps and you're good to go. So any car built in 1996 or after through this little guy right here can enjoy many of the features that the brand new cars rolling off the lots today have. And how is that different from the newer cars and what comes standard with the newer cars? Well, the really cool thing that puts this over the top is it has a Wi-Fi connectivity, a wireless hotspot, 4G LTE. So what that means is you can connect up to five devices in your car. So picture your next family road trip. I know that I spend some time breaking up fights yeah. in the back, which is really not that safe when you're driving. So instead, let's say your spouse, your partner has work emails, they could be catching up. Your children, one could be maybe on Facebook or Instagram, another one could be watching a movie on Netflix, so everyone can have their own, their own deal. And you can keep your eyes on the road, make sure you're driving safely and everyone's happy and entertained. Amy, um, this is fantastic. I'm so glad you shared all this great information with us this morning. Thank you for coming Thank in. Thank you for having me, it was fun. And if you'd like to learn more about cloud-based solutions for your car and peace of mind, go to thebalancingact.com or log and share with us at Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. One of the greatest challenges facing caregivers today is knowing what care resources are available. And one of the most misunderstood resources available to caregivers and their families is hospice. For many Americans, the topic of hospice and hospice care remains a mystery. Many adult children are confused as to what hospice and hospice care really is and what it can do. But joining us with more is Jennifer Sheets, Senior Vice President, Clinical Operations with Gentiva Health Services. Welcome, Jennifer. Such an important topic. So glad to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. Just right off the bat, you've said that hospice is misunderstood by caregivers. And what, what can you really tell me about that? Hospice care, most people believe, is really about death and dying. Um, when in actuality, hospice care is about living. It's mm -hmm. about the highest quality of life possible when you get to that final journey. It's designed to not only care for the patient, but care for the family as well, which is different than any other healthcare setting. So the support for the family during this time is huge. That is huge. And so a family decides that hospice is right for them. What's the process they go to to receive this benefit? So I think when the goal of care moves to, I don't want to bounce in and out of the hospital. Right. Um, I want to be at home. I want to be surrounded by my family and my friends, not in an ICU or, you know, a restricted visitors, restricted hours. And uh, I think the important thing is a conversation starts there. Have a conversation with your physician, your family, express the goals of care. Um, the most important thing is if you feel like hospice care is right for you or your loved one, don't wait. There's such a benefit in getting care as soon as you're eligible. And so the entire team comes in for care and that care comes into the home, right? Absolutely, so home hospice care is provided wherever home may be. So it may be a, a nursing home or a facility. Mm -hmm. It may be a friend, a family member's home or the house that's been your home for years. So a whole team comes in, they provide not only specialized care for the patient, but again, care and support for the family when they need us the most. And typically who comprises a hospice team? All hospices have to have a team that consists of a physician, a registered nurse, a social worker, and a, a pastor or some kind of counselor. Um, at Gentiva, we take it a step further, and so we offer a, an RN case manager that's specially trained, a hospice-trained aide, a hospice-trained volunteer, and then five national medical directors that are 
just known really well in the industry and provide support for our local physicians. Wow, that's an amazing team you put together. And they are all rock stars, that's for <laughs> sure. And when we come back, we'll learn more about hospice and hospice care at home. So stay right where you are. We have so much more after this. We're back with Jennifer Sheets and we're talking hospice and hospice care at home. And Jennifer, you work with one of the largest home health care and hospice providers. And in your opinion, what makes Gentiva different? Hands down, I would say our clinicians. Mm. As one of the largest home care and hospice providers, we truly invest in our bedside care through resources, technology, education. We really want to give as much time as we can at that patient's bedside. I also think we look for something very special in a Gentiva clinician. We look for that person that truly believes that every minute counts in somebody's life. Um, I, I ride with clinicians all the time, coast to coast, and, and I'm always amazed not only by their skill, but by their care, their compassion, their dedication to their job. I once had a nurse say to me that hospice was not her job, hospice was her calling. And I really believe that's what it is for a lot of our clinicians. It's a calling to do something more. That is so wonderful to hear. And who is eligible for hospice care? And, and how is that determined? So when the goal of your care is really to stop bouncing back and forth in the hospital, when you want to be home, surrounded by your family and your friends, you need to consider hospice. It might be the right option for you. Um, again, don't wait if you think you may be eligible or you have a loved one that might be eligible. There's a real benefit to getting care as soon as possible. Eligibility is determined by a, a coordination. So it's a coordination between the patient's regular physician and then the hospice medical director and as well as a comprehensive exam. Now what's the single, in your opinion, biggest misconception about hospice? That hospice care is the place that you go when there's nothing else that can be done. Mm -hmm. That hospice care is the place for the person that's going to die tomorrow or the person that is in a coma. Um, hospice is really the something that can be done. Hospice is real help when you need it, the most vulnerable time in your life, the most vulnerable time for the family, and it's real support when you need it. I, I hear from families all the time as well, top two things that I hear are, number one, I wish I had had it sooner. Mm. And number two, from the minute that hospice walked in the door, I felt like I could breathe again. I felt like I could be the daughter or the right. son again. And we hear that over and over and over. And I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions. And hospice really is dedicated as much to the caregivers as they are to the patients. So interesting to hear you say that. Let's talk a little bit more about the caregivers, ones who haven't considered hospice. What would you say to them? One of my very favorite letters that I received was from a gentleman who said hospice care allowed him to be the husband again to his wife when she needed him the most. Well, you can't get any better than that. You can't, and, and I've been through it, and I know that you feel isolated. You feel like you're alone. You feel like you don't have anybody walking this, dif this difficult path with you, but there's help out there, and that's what I'd say to everybody. Don't, don't be alone. You're not alone. There's so many resources, and, and even though a patient may not be eligible for hospice right away, there are other resources, home health, community care, all of those that Gentiva provides that can help transition the patient when they're ready to the right setting. And speaking of resources, is hospice covered by Medicare and, and what, what's included in the benefit? It's absolutely covered by Medicare. Hospice services are covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most private insurances. Um, people don't usually realize the benefit of hospice also covers medications that are related to the, the hospice diagnosis. It covers supplies, it covers equipment. So for example, briefs and gloves and oxygen, wheelchairs, specialty beds. Um, we hear that a lot from families too, that, that just somebody being that liaison to get the equipment that I needed, somebody picking up the medications for me versus a, you know, a daughter or a son trying to do it while working or balancing family life. So there's a lot that comes with that benefit as just a part of the benefit. And important, how can interested viewers find Gentiva in their area? At our website, gentiva.com, there's a location finder and you can find the Gentiva closest to you. 
Well, this was so important this morning and something I think we all need to be aware of and hear. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. All right, if you'd like to learn more about hospice and hospice health care, visit us at thebalancingact.com or share with us any of your personal experiences on this subject. Simply log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. Well, I think we're all ready to start the day now, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Maybe one more Cuban coffee. Yeah, maybe one more. And then go to our website, thebalancingact.com. That's thebalancingact.com for more of today's topics, and all the information is there for you. All right, sounds like a plan. And we're going to have coffee together? Yes. Okay, but let's I do make it. I it strong. I know, I like it strong. Mm. Okay. All right, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter as well. Thanks for joining us, and remember to find your balance, everybody. So long.